guys from Navarre Beach, Florida. We are at Navarre Beach Camping Resort. Cool little spot. We got in yesterday evening about seven or eight o'clock and uh, Lisa and I just kind of chilled and I am up bright and early. It's not even six o'clock this morning. And I'm gonna go down to the bay and check out the sunrise. Ellie got her license plate. Her name is up front and center, so everybody can see her coming down the road. It turned out good. So we are walking down to the bay. There's a dock down there. Some guys were fishing off of it last night, but there's these cool little, little cabins. They're all like Caribbean colors, turquoise and purple, and you can rent them and come and stay in those. They're really neat. A bunch of different kinds too, and different sizes. So here's the beach, you guys. There's the little dock. It goes pretty far out there. Some guys fishing on it last night. This is all sand. Got some loungers, a couple of hanging swings. Uh, Lisa and I sat out here last night for a little while and just looked out into the bay. Enjoyed that breeze. Very nice RV resort. Very, very nice. We're gonna be heading that way where you see those high rises got to cross over a bridge and that's going to take you to the main beach of Navarre where all the pretty clear water is and the resorts and the high-rise hotels. It's about 11 minute drive from here, close to two miles. Not far. We're going to unhook and head on over whenever Lisa gets up. Very nice pier. Looks like it's pretty new. All the wood is in good shape. It is a long pier too. Look at this. Oh, we're here at the end. Warning, absolutely no jumping or diving from this pier. Yeah, I would heed the warning because it's like three foot deep. Got plenty of benches out here on the pier for you to sit and chill, do some fishing or whatnot. There was a bunch of people fishing on this last night. Made me want to fish, but I don't have my poles. Guess who's going to start bringing his fishing pole with him everywhere he goes? Pretty soon we'll be living in a van, so I've got to have my fishing poles. There's a lot of fish in there. I'm seeing them jump. They're active this morning. It's so calm here. It's crazy, two empty premium spots. Here it is, peak season July in Florida. And you got a couple of empty spots here. You got one over here. There's a lot of folks here, but there's a lot of empty spots, surprisingly. Laundry room. Very nice little laundry room. Nice and clean. And we got a pool and a hot tub. That's where we're going now. Here is the ice cream shop. And funny enough, the grand opening was last night, the night we got here. All right, there's the pool right there. The main pool, or the pool. It's got a hot tub, really nice pool. Let's check it out. I'm gonna have to show you over the fence because the pool hours are from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. So the little pool mechanism is locked. Anyways, we came by the pool last night and it was all lit up they had like all these colorful lights shining up in the palm trees it was very active and very nice doesn't look that great right now but pretty nice pool and hot tub set up we are at navarre beach y'all and we are about to hop on our electric bikes that we just got and ride around for a little while there's a lot of people riding their bikes right now, but it's not that busy. So we're gonna go ahead and, and ride the bikes now and then come back and then we'll post up on the beach. But we are parked up right here. It's a beautiful day. There's not a lot of people here yet, but it is Saturday, so I'm anticipating it's gonna be busy. This right here is a place called Windjammers. It's a, and that's a big fishing pier, but you can rent fishing equipment there, but they're sold out. I tried to rent some. I'm gonna keep checking back and hopefully I can grab me a fishing rod, maybe do some fishing, because I'm dying to do some fishing. But uh, they got a little gift shop there and a bar. Uh, but we got a nice little place right here. The beach is just right over. The dunes are there, so ought to be a good day. Are you ready to ride? I am. So this will be our first time riding the e-bikes outside of our neighborhood. So we've just ridden them kind of to test them out. And uh, it, we drove down this road and there's a nice little bike path. So that's going to be perfect because we're not actually fighting with traffic. I like that.
fun. Lisa's doing really good. I'm having a ball. She's liking the electric bikes. Me too, I am too. The pedal assist is pretty awesome. So I just got it on pedal assist too, and it just makes pedaling so easy. Moving on pretty good. Right now I'm going 11, going 11. 0.2 miles an hour right now and the pedal assist goes up to number five which gets up to about 20 miles an hour these electric bikes are cool man you can just take off without having to pedal i love it that's awesome okay jason has already gone to the beach to get our setup i am leaving ellie and i have the beach bag with our beach towels, our floats, our drinks, our snacks. It is a beautiful day. I'm excited for this. Nothing but chill and relax. We've already gotten our exercise out. That's done, check. <laughs> so now it's just time to relax. There's Jason. So let me show you our what we have for our beach setup. I love this. This is two inflatable pool noodles and they fold down to that. So this is fantastic because this can go anywhere with us. I also have this bigger like sit-in pool float and it doesn't take up a lot of space but it's not as practical as these. So we might use this, we might not. But check out this beach bag. We've had this for a little while. I love this thing. It's an insulated bag. I love it. It's insulated and I bring these ice packs from home and they go in the freezer in the RV, and then I just take the ice packs and put in here, and they'll keep our drinks cold. And we've got Gatorade, bottled water. Where's the bear? It's only 9.30 in the morning. Yeah, we were just talking about the beach tent. It's really not working for us. We used it in Gulf Shores, and this is the second time we're using it, and really, it gets like, a little hot in there. It, it gets hot in there, and then you see that only like a quarter of it is actually shaded. Yeah. So and it's sandy, and it's hard to get all the sand out of it. So I'm, we're gonna go another route. Yeah, I think we're just gonna leave it up here on the beach, and somebody can say, it's free. "Oh, look, a beach tent. Somebody left it. I can have it." And basically, that's what we're gonna do. So, you want the red one or the yellow one? Yellow. Okay. Full noodle, just like that, it literally took like 30 seconds to blow up. I love these things. So I found these on Amazon and I got a pack of six for like 10 bucks or something like that, but we only brought two of them with us. Nice. They blow up fast too. They blow up really fast. JBL, got a little speaker action going. A little music is good, only we can hear it. Okay, we're all set up. Got the music going. Lisa created us a cool beach playlist while we were coming home from California. Yep. Got our little beach tent the last time we we're gonna use the beach tent, but we got we got it set up, y'all. Oh, there's some surfers out there, but look at all the beautiful people. Right now, the tent is working like it's supposed to because it's kind of midday, so the sun is actually shaded. And uh, we are posted up in the beach tent to get some shade. But we're looking at different types of beach tents and then we think we're gonna order a new one when we get back home. Yeah. That's a little bit more versatile. Yeah. Try something different. This one's not ideal. It's just really... It, it holds a lot of sand and it takes too much work to get the sand out y'all and we're gonna be spending a lot of time in the van and so it's just like one thing I hate in the van is sand. Sand, sand is the enemy in any RV because you sweep and then you find more and then you sweep and you find more and you sweep and you find more and it's like where is the sand coming from? Well you can hardly get it off of your body completely exactly. when you take a shower so much less sweeping out the van. Yep. 
so this is new. This is a tropical, um, and so it's not apple. You know, most of the Angry Orchard is apple, but this is pineapple and passion fruit. It's definitely got more of a tropical taste to it than the apple. It's good. Is it good? Yeah, you want to taste it? Taste it a little bit. Mmm. I think it's fine. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's just different. It's fruity. I mean, it's it's a proper taste for being on the beach. Right, it is. That's fun, just bobbing out in the water like that. I love the pool noodles. Those were a good buy. Elisa was making fun of how I was straddling mine. <laughs> was. Lunch time. Yes, it is. Oh, we're sitting in the AC in the van. I've just made me a ham and cheese sandwich on wheat bread, I'm trying to watch my calories. Jason has killed his pill and eat shrimp. So I did. they were delicious. What's awesome about having this van is, you know, all of the other people on the beach, they have to pack a lunch and bring it to the beach. Now we can just walk over to the van. We have a refrigerator, everything we want to eat, turn on the AC for a few minutes make us a lunch, eat in here, and then we can go on about our day. Yeah. I like that. So we're up here at the Windjammers. This is the restaurant and bar at the top of the beach. And we just wanted to come here, get a quick drink, and enjoy the views for a bit. And then we're gonna go walk back here. Yes. See, that's good music. That's good music. I mean, it's it's the Eagles Hotel California before that. It was Nirvana, never mind. You know, we go to a lot of places, and I've been saying it. They never play the right music. But you come to the Emerald Coast here on the Panhandle, a.k.a. the Redneck Riviera, and they do it exactly the way I would do it. I love this place. It's becoming home fast. This is the most relaxing place in Florida. It's not a whole lot of like clubs and crazy stuff going, but you got a little, a couple of these little beach pubs like this, right on the money. So we are about to take a walk on the Navarre Pier. We have paid our $1 per person entrance fee. And we just learned this is not only the longest pier in Florida, it is the longest pier anywhere in the Gulf of Mexico. So that's pretty cool. Let's go check it out. Man, this pier is awesome. Y'all look at the views yeah. of beautiful Navarre Beach. I'm telling you what, you guys, I don't care who you are and where you've been. You want a good beach? Come to the Panhandle. Oh yeah. Because they're the best in the world. So this is our fourth stop on the Panhandle. We've been to Gulf Shores, Alabama. We've been to Pensacola, Florida, Destin, Florida, and now Navarre, Florida. And it's just pristine beaches, white powder sand, beautiful emerald water. Can you see the color behind me? This is why it's called the Emerald Coast. The water has like a green tint to it. So pretty here. So we were told that this is the longest pier in the Gulf Coast. The Gulf Coast. Yeah. And that if you walk down it, and you wear polarized sunglasses, which I have on, you can come and see all kinds of fish and sea turtles. We're gonna see if that's true. But uh, yeah, look at this, man, this is unbelievable. Very beautiful here. See why they call it a fishing pier. It is fishing madness in here, y'all. Okay, I'm about to show you the most amazing meal you've ever seen in your life, okay? <laughs> Jason cooked this delicious roast when we were at home. And I put it in a container 
and brought it on the road and we've heated it up and we are having roast beef tacos. Now these are low carb tortillas. Jason does low carb. I'm doing low calorie right now. So that let me show you. roast is delicious. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I will divvy this out between the four tacos. And you don't need to fancy them up. Mm -mm. Now, cheese. It looks so simple, but it's so delicious. It's like crazy good. I don't really normally do cheese on mine, but she's putting cheese on mine. That's fine. I put cheese on yours yesterday, too. I like guacamole. She does not. And I like Tabasco sauce. She does not. But teach their own. But I'm just showing you the basics. Yes. Y'all, they're Shredded so good. lettuce. Gotta have some shredded lettuce. And diced tomatoes. And we just decided to uh, be a little lazy and buy pre-diced tomatoes. <laughs> because, you know, why not? good salsa. Jason is going to put guac on his, but I'm putting salsa on mine. Yum. Yep, I cheated. I didn't cut up fresh avocado this time. We, we kind of cheated. We went fast. <laughs> but back at home, and I do have an avocado actually, but we just got a bit lazy. Oh yeah. Y'all have no idea how good this is. Now, it's better without these low-carb tortillas, but, you know, it's how we diet. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, they really are that good. Mm. Yes. Yummy, yummy, yummy. They are so good.